Hello, Aries. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I think I just said that. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So, Aries, let's talk about this week for you and what it looks like for you. Uh, we're going to pull three cards. Uh, the first card will be uh, what uh, is going on for you this week, the situation this week. And then it will be the advice. And then it will be the outcome. Okay? If you take the advice of the cards, that's the outcome predicted outcome for you all right so let's get into it thank you god for blessing aries with a clear concise message from you all right so aries let's see what's coming towards you this week what's coming towards aries this week what's coming towards aries this week okay the cards don't all right let's see what's coming towards aries this week it's coming towards Aries this week. Some of you are having a tough week. Uh, you're waiting for decisions. All right. You have the magician here. Um, then you've got yourself. And then the moon card. Okay. Yeah. Waiting for a decision here. The ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. Something that you've manifested. Something that you've, you're thinking about. Your hopes, wishes, dreams. Um, raw power. You know, taking, you know, taking uh, things into your own hands. You know, your dreams coming into fruition. What can you do to actually see them manifest? So it's like you're doing some work. You have done work. Uh, the advice is for you to be like yourself, the emperor. Know that you've created a very firm foundation. This may have something to do with, with the four here. You, the emperor, real estate, it could have something to do with your home, feminine energy, roots, maybe you laying roots, going back to your roots, or something of that nature, really, uh, really combing through things, combing over something from the past. It's all, it's all, it also talks about self-care, so it's like you need to rest in the energy of knowing that you created this firm foundation for yourself and that things are working out for you especially behind the scenes with the moon card and the outcome something that you are apart from you're trying to get back to uh, or someone's trying to get back to you now on, on the face you know the face of these cards the face value it looks like someone's trying to manifest you someone who could be married older already has a commitment already is established in life and almost Every different aspect, you know, in their career, in their home, in their family. They could be married, could have been married, divorced. So this would be someone who's well-established. They could be trying to manifest you back into their existence. Uh, they think about you at night, or this is you, Aries. There's something about uh, emotions, not having processed them correctly. Some repressed emotions. Lying to yourself and maybe others about how you feel about something or someone. But also in the absence of something or someone, you're seeing something clearly. It says no distractions with the Ace of Swords. So therefore you can, you know, there's mental clarity. There's, um, your mental capacity is working at 110% because now you don't have the distraction of, you fill in the blank. Um, so now you're getting the truth of the matter or you're seeing the truth of the matter. Things are adding up. I don't know if you can see this, but there are like calculations here um, in, in this this woman's mind. You know, you're, you're adding things up. You're getting very truthful about what's going on or, or you're seeing some some truth, some clarity. Uh, you could have had a conversation. You could have cut something off. You, you're coming to the mindset that maybe you need to be firm, frank about a situation okay some of you this is just your manifestation power you get nothing but majors here and then you have the minor arcana here but the aces are portals to the major arcana so it's like the spirit is really working with you to see something through for you to go through for you to get um but it's like they they couldn't you know, really help you out until you got to a place of mental 
like you declutter mentally. Let's see what this is about. Let's uh, pull a card. For some of you, you're waiting for information, uh, a yes answer, an approval. Um, you've manifested something large, maybe a home or a home loan. Um, something to do with your family. You have a lot of emotions tied to whatever this is or whoever this is. Let's see. What is this about? Occupation for so for some of you 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 do work independent work um, you could be entrepreneurs independent contractors you do work to where you you kind of set your schedule you set your hours um, you're getting a lot of recognition um, someone is seeing you uh, get your just due maybe get your flowers now um, especially if you do something outside of working for a company you know, you're getting your accolades. People are really um, patronizing you. They see the high level of work that you do, the time, energy, effort you put into whatever it is you do. Occupation says that um, you could actually see some change here. Some of you definitely are business owners or you do something independently um, and it looks good. People like it. What is the moon card? is the outcome what is the moon card is the outcome looks like you need to rethink maybe your personal philosophy about you and a particular person you guys are very different think differently you don't see life differently i mean you don't see life the same and maybe that's why there is conflict here and um, something could be coming to completion too or conclusion like it, it's going to finally end here um uh, it could be between you and a person, you and a thing. So we've got the five of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the magician again, and the devil. So some of you may be um, thinking of different ways that um, you can come out of maybe lack, lack mentality. Some of you, there's somebody here who you could be ignoring or they're ignoring you because it's a third party situation. You know, it's um, it's taboo. It's uh, intoxicating. It's bad. It's not the right choice. It's something that's going to get somebody, you know, stuck, stuck in a cycle here. Um, it's not harmony. It's not perfect harmony like you would see in the lovers card. It is disharmony. It's um, it's dishonest for some of you. Whatever this may be, uh, with the six of pentacles here is like somebody wants to wants you to set their sights on on them they want to give you a gift or they want to give you something um that shows their i don't know their good nature goodwill again this just looks like somebody's trying to manifest you they're not offering much um, they are letting you know that you're not the only person involved yeah they definitely somebody definitely wants reconciliation with you star card um, let's see, let's end this out. Some of you, you need to figure out how to get out of debt, how to get out of, um, yeah, how to get out of debt, how to increase your profit. You're getting help with something that has to do with um how you make your money you may be getting some help in your business uh things look good in terms of money because you got into a place of six of pentacles where there's a it's harmony in terms of the work that you do and then the money that you get yeah this wanted to flip out can't get over you so it's either you or someone else um, now, you know, I don't, a lot of times this card comes out when people are losing their relationship. Now it could be, um, it, it could be specific, like you are losing your home and, uh, my heart goes out to, to you. Uh, I hope that everything works out to the, to the best or for the best. Um, 
But a lot of times this comes out when people are losing a relationship. It seems like that would be the case because there's someone saying, I can't get over you. Or this is you, Aries. It's like somebody knows that they're losing you. So they, they're trying to draw you back in. You get the magician coming out twice. Somebody's trying to use their words. Really, maybe um, fast talk you, double talk you. Say whatever it is they have to say to actually pull you back in. Um, the magician ruled by Mercury. Definitely using their words. Um, really eloquent in speech. They know how to put things together. They can write really well. They can really convince you. There's somebody who, who feels like, you know, their mental capacity is uh, well above yours. And they can really just, um, I don't know, fast talk you, double talk you, or, or maybe even give you a gift with coupled with the fast talk um, so that you would come back because they can't get over you. This one is just yeah, caught cheating. I don't know. This is definitely a, a situation, a third party situation. So I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry that you're going through that. Um, this could be someone who's married with a high honor. Um, Aries, do know that you have someone who you cut off, maybe, or they cut you off. I don't know. You cut each other off. Somebody wants to come back. They can't get over you. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, um, go over to the website and book there. Get your, um, yeah, you can get your own personal reading at the website level. You can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. And then you can pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.